And in fact, you saw it was 6 0 on that stream match when Arsen Ash played against Shadow. And the whole time, everybody, and you know, everybody in this tournament, Super Kuma was preparing for Arsen Ash. Yeah, but surprise. Shadow ended up taking it. And look at this. Now, because of that, Super Kuma able to make it into the top eight winner's side. Yeah, so this is Super Kuma's chance to prove to everyone that he could have beat Arsenal to make it into the winner's side of the bracket anyway, right? And if he does that, he's in top four of this tournament, right? That is going to be huge. Absolutely huge. Going back to Shadow versus Arsenal, though, I feel like since Shadow beat him, he hasn't really run the Claudio against him, right? So mm -hmm. to see him bring out the Claudio, I feel like that was his answer. Anyways, we're going to go into a matchup. Two of the most beloved characters in Tekken 7, we have Zafina and Akuma. Oh, yeah. They, people love them. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, they love these players for sure. That is, without a doubt, yes. two of the most emotional and impactful players that we've seen throughout the series of Tekken 7. Arguably, Arsene Nash, uh, really the rising star over the past few years. Anyways, we're going to go into the matchup. I am excited to see how this is going to play out, especially because Arsene Nash has been on record for very, for almost every region where he comments like, oh, is Akuma still a problem for you guys? He's uh -huh. not a problem in Pakistan. But we just saw what happened to Khan, right? Almost happened to Khan. And like, it looked like Khan was having some issues. Yeah. I mean, maybe it was the nerves, being on the Evo stage and everything. But that was a very, very close first set against Super Kuma and his Akuma. Yeah, and it's going to be fun. I can't wait to see how this is going to play out, of course. Look at Arsene's fingers there, dude. I love the way he hits the buttons. It's so unorthodox compared to how most people play with their hands and their fingers I, on the stick. I mean, he's like a surgeon when it comes to inputs and just the way he plays. Maybe that we're playing wrong. Maybe we're playing wrong. We could be. I mean, he's the best, man. He's the guy to beat. And again, I mentioned this before, and if you guys aren't familiar, once he gets to the loser's bracket, he becomes the most dangerous player on the planet. Look at the stats. He is almost mm -hmm. nay unbeatable. That's crazy, man. That's actually crazy. This is wild. This tournament's only going to get crazier and crazier. John Ding, top four of this tournament. I don't think anyone predict that to happen. No, and you know, it's funny because the last series of TWT events when we were having offline, he did not make a top eight in any master event. That's so right. So he has really trained and leveled up. You learning and using multiple characters, especially that Julia, which he really built up over the past few years. You reminded me of that because back in 2019, I remember he was having so much trouble and he was trying to add to Julia. He was at the TWT finals for the LCQ. Yes. He's like, I've been training Julia. I think Julia is the answer. And it was way back then, but he lost with it and it was not the answer then. Yeah. But he stuck with it. And here we are three years later, the anime training arc and Jundig. Top four of EVO. You love to see it. And you get, again, hard work pays off. And it definitely shows. And he is back here on the stage trying to fight and win. But right now, it's all about Pakistan and France. Pakistan versus France again. Super Akuma had to play Khan on the winning side of the bracket. Now he gets Arslan in the losing side of the bracket. Yeah, if you guys watching at home are watching this, you may not be familiar with Tekken 7. There is still time to play and learn this game pick up on it. You know, we are seasoned commentators on this game, but we're, right now we're not even doing commentary. We're talking about a game that we love, and it's just so easy for us with this level of play to really enjoy it with you guys at home. So I hope you guys are paying attention and you guys are noticing the energy from this crowd, the energy from these players and how great it is. Yeah, both of these guys, fan favorites right now. We got a lot of EU representation here in the arena. Arsene has, of course, one of the fan favorites in general across Tekken. He's earned that respect from everybody. If you remember three years ago, people weren't so happy. They were kind of booing him out here. It's kind of like mixed reaction. Now, totally different story. Yeah. Oh, big launch. He went for a big whip. He got a heavy uppercut, unable to land here. Last day on Earth. Uh, let's see. I mean, this is a very odd stage, of course. But again, Super Kuma, he's playing aggressively again. He is looking his way in. Trying to find the chip away against Arsene. He caught him right there. He could have yeah. finished. Could have. And you know, the thing that was beautiful there was he punished the 1 plus 2. Oh, oh my boy. gosh. He caught him. He caught him. Yo, yo. Okay. Okay, that's a good start, Super Akuma. But can he keep it up? That's the question. Can he keep it up for multiple rounds? Enough to close it out and win a game. Yeah, he's got to save the meter that round too, right? So that's a huge deal when you're Akuma to have all that meter to rely on to make a comeback when you need it later. I mean, do you want to talk about the track record between these players? Super What's Akuma has never beat him. He I mean, has that, never that's beat him most in tournament. people against Arslan Ash. That is true. But I mean, in particular, Arslan Ash plays with a level of confidence against Akuma that is almost unheard of. Uh huh, for sure. I'm curious. Oh boy. I'll say, I'm curious how much Akuma practice they even put in anymore. I mean, do, do they even have any Akuma players? We don't see any of their notable Akuma saying. players in tournaments anymore. I mean, maybe it's the difficulty of traveling, mm -hmm. but still, there are uh, a lot of questions that will be answered because we are back with offline play. Exactly. Super Akuma now with Rage. Hop kick from Arsene Ash with Zafina. 
That's one way to do it. Show him the confidence. Lands the Fina's hop kick. That's incredible. That is uh, definitely an ICFC bounty if I've ever yes. seen one. <laughs> Lands the Fina's hop kick. Anyways, going into the action. Let's see what happens. Again, the pressure here gets the flow. Does not get a full combo. Was in stance. Wow, the jab there. Caught her out of the 4 4 4. And this time, Super Kuma, easy wall carry. Still building up that meter. It's going to look good for him in the final round. This meter keeps building like this. Oh, Super Kuma's really going to have to mix things up. He has not been going low. He's been pressuring Arsenite with a lot of mids. Going for the jab, really trying to open up and find an opportunity. He's trying to react. He got and it. That's one way to react with the wall. Go for tech. Oh, boy. That's smart. Yep, Arsenite yep. knows not to deal with any of the, the funny stuff. Teleport out of there. Oh, the jab. He's going to have to be careful. He's being really cautious. He's both oh, power he's done. He's with dead. the launcher. Smart stuff from Arslan Ash. And that is one of the sequences Round with Zafina that is rarely used in competitive play because it is so punishable. But at the end of the round, an amazing option. He was able to close it out. Man, and this feels like such a struggle for Arslan. Like, he's in there. He's got the round count lead, but it's not easy at all. I mean, this is what happens when you are the best player in the world. Everybody is going after you. Oh, yeah, okay, oh he, nice punish. He was ready. Very nice punish. Nothing there. Could have had a back one, maybe. Oh, the wall. Nice. He ducked the second hit on block. Oh, Let's see how he goes. What's he going to do? Life deficit. He's in rage. The back dash. So effective from Zafina. Yeah, no meter, though. Going to make this comeback way hard. Here's the down forward. Do we see more of them is the question. 20 seconds left. The Super double Kuma. jump. Is he going to? Oh, my Drop God. One. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, no! He, he put... wanted a fireball, right? You tell me he wanted a fireball there, Mark. Never mind. You know, there could have been so many uh, sequences there. Maybe he was expecting a down three. Maybe he was expecting a down one. Maybe a down forward one. He bet it all that on was... something. He was either a fireball, a dragon punch, whatever it was. He tried to react with something there. That was rough. That was such a big bet. The pressure of the, of the situation got to him, it seems like. Because I think he did try to uppercut there. I think he wanted, even though he didn't have the meter for it. He's done stuff like that. We've seen yeah, in recent sure. tournaments that he has baited out a frame trap where he would go for an uppercut and try to beat out his opponent's reaction. But Arslan Ash, too patient there. Too patient. Way too patient. And that seems to be the key for both Arslan and Nii, right? Like, they're both such patient players, even when things are getting really crazy and intense. Bro, it's been three years since we've done commentary at EVO. This yes. is insane. I'm so glad we're back. Dude, the crowd here is awesome. It's absolutely awesome. I'm telling you guys, if you guys have never been here, get the arena Round tickets. Come one. and experience the arena because it is different than Fun. any other FTC event out there. Anyways, going to he gets the duck, but he's going to get punished for uh -huh. it. Luckily, Akuma not having any meter, but Super Akuma locked and loaded, ready to go. I mean, you got to believe Arson, that's a calculated risk. Like, I can do the start of the game, and what's he going to do? Worst case scenario, one, two, one uppercut, no big deal. Yeah. I mean, early on, you want to take risks against Akuma. You, once he has that meter, that's when you're not you're not going to mess around. Exactly. Anyways, we are in Geese Howard yeah. State. Gets the follow up to Sandy Three. Let's go. Pushing towards the wall. He might be able to close him out here. Side wall oh doesn't matter. Oh my gosh! What a combo, Arthur Nash, first round. round two. That was beautiful. And now that one for two and the extension there is because he noticed that Super Kuma was always challenging after the one for two. And now the back dash down for two. Arthur Nash is getting into a groove right now. He did not look this comfortable in the first set that we saw him in. So now I can see the groove coming out. The back test is down for two. That's not something we've seen from him yet in this top eight. Oh, yeah. The mental Zafina gauntlet coming into play here. And Super Akuma guessing wrong and having to deal with this mix-up. Let's see what happens on wake up. Look at this. He's going to have to be careful. Back to the wall here. Oh, he floats. Oh, boy. But he's, you know, that's he's, good for Arslan. Yeah. That's good for great. Arslan. Get some damage, though. But again, in rage now, Super Akuma. He's, 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 his tournament life is being threatened right now. Yeah, he's in big trouble here, but Rage more to Kuma, but he doesn't have meter. He's going to need a lot more down for it. There's two of them. Do we get a third? Go for it. Just go for the third. It'll work. Oh, the, the squid punch. He's done. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. I'm trying to warn him. There you have it. Round Set three. point, Arslan Ash. Fight. The shining star of I Pakistan. I told him what's he doing. What's he doing, Mark? He's, he's, I mean, how else is he <laughs> He has no meter. He can't really put the threat on. He has to do something. However, because he keeps doing it, it might give him opportunities towards the end of this round, but he's going to have to risk it all. Third hit. Yes. Oh, didn't reach. The wall is crazy, man. Yeah, and look at this corner. And look at the block from Arsenal on the down three. Tall order here. Super Akuma, if you're going to win this. Woo, that was so good. Oh, my gosh. He, he might be done. One more mix-up could do hey, it. One more hey. mix-up could do it. Arsenal. Ash. The pixel! Wait, wait. He's made crazy comebacks with the pixel before. He has no meter though. But he Phil, has no meter. He's got a raise team that combos. How is he gonna deal earn with this? Earn it, earn it back, Super Kuma. You're Ar running out of time. Arsenash is just gonna jab. He's gonna keep it safe. Duck and wall sanitude. Just run up and duck. Oh my 
my god! This he is doesn't big. have time! He doesn't have time though! He's got to do this to spend the time. It frees his time. And now he's gonna get a ton of he's damage. He's gonna stay. Arson Nash can stay on the ground. Ton of damage, Arson though. Nash will stay on the ground. Running three. Down four. Run up and do it again. Run up and do it again. You have no time. You gotta run up and do it again. Oh, oh my god, god. there's no time. time. Unfortunate. Nice effort, but too big of a lead to overcome. Arthur Nash into the top four of Evo. Super Akuma out at fifth. What a fight, though. You got to give it up for the lone representative from Europe in our top eight, Alex France. Of course. I mean, nice effort there, but man, that was a hard comeback to make. And just run up down for 2 1 was. So risky, but with all the down fours we had seen from him, it was actually a good mix. It was a good mix, and if the positioning had been a little bit better, if he had a better position for the wall, wall if he had some meter as well, it could have been different. But the thing is, the key, there was not enough time.